Hey, I'm Joey Henderson. I'm with iConnect Training, and today we are here at the AHR Expo, and I'd like to talk to you about the TU-406 training unit. Now, what we have here, this is a split, a true working split heat pump. It's got duct work on top of it, and we've got a display here to actually show the students exactly what's happening with the unit. So, what we have to display here is we've got a either an iPad or we can have a phone, we can have a tablet, doesn't really matter. But this is the magic of what we're doing. This is our I-manifold. This I-manifold receives a signal from both our pressure transducer sensors here and our temperatures. And it is a Zigbee Wi-Fi, so it's got a thousand foot range between this I-manifold and any of our sensors. From there, it Bluetooths to any smart device. So we're receiving all the inputs into here wirelessly, 1,000 foot range, and then from here, we're gonna Bluetooth it to our iPad in this case, and then we're gonna display it up on the screen. So you can get 10, 15 students, and we can all see at one time what's happening. It's a great feature. If you come over here on our air handler, We've got our Pexi glass here so they can look inside and see what's going on while the unit's running. They can watch the coil here, get condensation built up on it. We can do faults in it so that we can create it to freeze up on us. And we'll get into that. Um, here you can see all the controls. Transformer, here's our capacitor, our control board. And down here, we've actually integrated the safeties so that you can teach the students how to properly wire in our safeties in series. So with this, we have a complete system, totally operating unit on wheels, ready to go. Now, we've built in on our liquid line, you can see right here, we've got a valve that we can close and it will actually restrict the flow of refrigerant through the filter dryer and that way they can actually see the temperature change through that dryer in real time. Then over here we have a side glass that will actually show the change. So what I want to do right now is we're going to turn it on and watch it happen. You can see what happens here in our pressures. Now up here up top we've got our temperature sensors and these are actually reading wet bulb, dry bulb and relative humidity. You just take the iPad here and we'll scroll up. We've got a return air sensor on the return air grill. We've got a supplier sensor right here on the supply vents. With this information, we can actually calculate the CFMs of the unit, the capacity of the unit, and also the efficiency of the unit because we have all this information at our fingertips. And there you go, now you can see it. We're tracking superheat. We're tracking subcooling. We've got the outdoor air temperature, and then we've got our discharge line, uh, suction line temperature, and we've got our liquid line temperature. And with that, we can do all these calculations at one time. Now here we can show all the basic refrigeration cycle operation of the unit, but then the fun begins. We have built-in fault switches on this unit, and on the side over here, we have a control box, and we've got where we can take the transformer out, we can take out the reverse and valve, we can take out power to the air handler, and we can also kill power straight over here to the control voltage side of it. And that's just the beginning of faults that you can even do yourself. And like we've done in the past with uh, running units, here we've got it all in one shot. If you open this up, this is a working heat pump, and you can add faults of your own. You know how we put the tape on the connector and put it back and let the students find it. But students now can actually take their meters and do real live troubleshooting. When we come over here on the side, we have a rheostat that controls the airflow to the indoor section. And as an instructor, what I like to do is I like to ask the students first, what's going to happen if we start losing airflow to the indoor coil? I'll let them give me some ideas, some good answers, and then we can do it. So we'll watch right here, and I'm gonna actually slow down the airflow, and we'll watch this suction pressure, and it'll start dropping. <clears throat> see how it immediately starts to drop? The nice thing about this unit, because it's all compact, we can see immediate results, and the students can see it for themselves. Now before I 
flood the compressor, I'm going to turn it back up. Now they get to watch, we've got an expansion valve down here, and they can see how this expansion valve is going to react as we now got the airflow back up. And as you can see, here it comes back up. And we'll do one more. What's going to happen if I lose airflow across the outdoor coil? Again, I let the students give me what they think is going to happen. And then I hit my toggle switch. The outdoor fan has failed. Everything else is running. And now we get to watch this head pressure start going up. You don't have to get in there and cut wires or anything. You have direct control right here from the control panel. And here we go, we're starting to rise. Not only that, you can see how subcooling is being affected and superheat. And this is to teach the students in real time what's gonna happen. Now before I kill the compressor, I better turn that fan back on. What I as an instructor like to do with this unit is break it down into three sections. We can do electrical fault troubleshooting, we can do refrigerant. You can use this to teach refrigerant recovery and recharge. You can teach them how to weigh it in, use a scale method. You can also use them to come back and adjust it by subcooling and superheat. And then not only do we have refrigerant and electrical, but the beauty of this is we also have real duct system on there and we can measure static pressures, measure CFMs out of it, and watch how that changes. We even got a vent on the outside here that you can take it and totally relieve all the static pressure. On the return side over here, we have a filter grill. And you can actually show them the effects of different types of filters in real time. You can talk about it all day long, but if you have three or four different styles of filters, you can install it into the filter grill and immediately they can see how it's gonna affect our pressures and temperatures just like that. So over here on this side is where we have our fault switch box. You can lift this up. We've got our four faults through here and as you change them, then you can close this back and that way the student won't know what you did, okay? You can also have students do faults with each other as well. That's in this box here. On the left side here, we actually have a controller that controls the voltage to the indoor fan. So you can adjust the RPMs of that indoor fan just by changing this like a dimmer switch on a light. And then last down here is a return air filter grill and you can really get creative with this on airflow. So this is our airflow sensor. If you open this up, if we change different filters into this box, we can actually see how it changes the static pressure on the return, how that affects the suction pressure and the line temperatures and the capacity of the unit. And as you can see, here we have our pleated. You can put in all kinds of different media in there and show the student exactly what's going on. So this is our TU-406C, and with it, the only limitation is your imagination.